is October 17th, 2020. It's not an especially warm day. It's very sunny here. A little breeze in the trees, but the breeze is kind of coming from the north. And it's rather cold. Um, I think we're looking at about two to three degrees Celsius. I'd like it to be warmer for this, but the forecast doesn't look any better for the coming days. In fact, it looks even worse. Uh, over the next week, we're going to degrade to daytime highs down at zero and minus one. That's a little cool for this time of year, but not unheard of. Uh, so what I want to do here today, you see I've got my, my hives stacked up here. And this is just convenience for moving them in. I can just pick up those, those double stack hives and move them into the barn in a couple of weeks. And uh, it makes it a little easier to treat because uh, I don't have to bend down to treat half of them. I just put the vaporizer in like that, which I like. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here today. I'm going to use oxalic acid vapor. And I'm not going to build a narrate a lot because I'm going to be wearing a full face mask. And I'm sure you can hear Kitty is here to help. And uh, she doesn't have a mask though, so I'm going to have to get her to go back to the house. She will. She doesn't stick around long. She finds out that there's work to be done and she's out of here. Uh, so I'll kind of demonstrate sort of how I'm going to do this and then I can show me doing it. But I can't do both because, again, wearing the mask, you can't hear me I'm talking inside that thing. So we'll get set up here and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to go through this. A lot of people haven't seen this done, and they, they ask about it. So I'll try to describe everything I can think of to describe. Oxalic acid is a naturally occurring acid from plants. You can think of rhubarb as having oxalic acid in it. Don't think you're going to treat your bees with rhubarb. That's foolishness. It's uh, far more concentrated here. It kind of almost has the consistency of sugar, uh, it's just the acid crystals. And what happens is you heat that and it sublimates. And what sublimation means is that a substance goes from one state to a second state without passing through the intermediate state, meaning that it'll go from a solid to a vapor without passing through the intermediate stage of a liquid. If you think about water, you think about snow or ice, and that's like the snow or ice going from the frozen state to a gas without melting and going to a liquid, which happens all the time. We see that all the time here in, in Canada. We see snow, you have snow on the ground, you have ice, and over the, the days, weeks, months through winter, it will sublimate, it will evaporate, it dries up. Ice cubes in your freezer dry up, that's sublimation. So it's not vaporization per se, however, we always use that because it rolls off the tongue a little better than sublimation. That is semantics. So what, ha what we've got here is I've got a ProVap 110. This is a 110 volt uh, unit requires 110 volts, so you'll hear my generator running here in a little while. I'm a little too far from the house to have uh, power. There's a protective block on that. So the little cup here gets hot. Um, the crystals fall into the cup and then they sublimate. They go down the little tube here and out this tube. And I can actually demonstrate that for you so you can see it come shooting out. You can kind of see what's happening there. But for treating the bees, you stick this through a hole in the hive, and you can do it different ways. I'm not going to tell you you have to do it my way, but I found a way that seems to work really well for me. All I do is I drill a hole in the back of the hive and shoot it sideways about halfway or a little more up. And I'll shoot it sideways back past the back of the frames, and that seems to permeate the hive really well. I don't bother blocking the entrance. My entrance is reduced already, so I've got a small entrance. And uh, it's been very effective for me that way. So what we do is we take my handy dandy little 
a little measuring spoon here. I scoop up some crystals, put them in the cup here. We'll turn this over, lock it on the cup. I'll be wearing gloves because that's hot. Okay, so it's locked on the cup. It's not, it doesn't work as well when it's cold. I'll put that in the hole, turn it over, give it a couple of wraps. Crystals will fall down into the cup and begin the sublimation process. That's stuck now. <laughs> I shouldn't really be touching this. There's crystals on here. You need to wear protection with this. You need to wear your gloves. I have my gloves over there. Um, you need to wear lung protection. You really should wear eye protection. I like this 3M 6900 series mask. It protects my eyes and my lungs at the same time. Uh, I, I don't like using it. It's hard to breathe. I find it hard to breathe anyway. But it's very effective. I'm not going to advise, advise you which cartridge to use because you need to uh, call 3M and tell them what you're doing and they will tell you what cartridge to use. So I've, I've done that and this is the cartridge they, they recommended and uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. I will not tell you which cartridge to use. Invest in a good one of those. It's going to be the least pain in the butt to use and it's going to last you a long time. I've got my wraps on here, my insulated panels, and I think for simplicity I'm just going to take these off the sides because it's pretty easy, especially with these nice Milwaukee tools. Just like that. I can just take that off. You maybe can't quite see it, but I'm just going to go down about halfway drill a hole right at the back right where the right where the back panel meets the side so it's just up now well, like I say let's drill that hole I want to angle down just a little helps the tool the vaporizer to stay in there nicely so now when I put my vaporizer in there it's gonna hit the side one a little bit but it'll still get in there just fine this takes a couple of minutes uh, to blow off. It has a temperature readout on here and I can see when it's come back up to temperature I know it's it's blown off and ready to go to the next one. I think I've covered it all. I'm going to mask up, I'm going to get the generator going, plug everything in and uh, get this show on the road. I'll take some of these panels off beforehand as well. So the set point on this is about, I don't know what, 250 or so. It usually runs between 175 and 220 while treating. Yeah. A little bit of crystal in there now. Well, you don't want to breathe that stuff at all. this one over you can see how it goes. This is what happens in there. down here 174 it'll recover here in a minute once it gets back at 200 it starts to vaporize better on the tip and it kind of blocks it a bit. The 
I've insulated the bowl with a wrap. The cool temperatures have helped with the regain temperature better. The fact that just over 200 is pretty much done. I use a different cup. I've got four cups. I bought two spares because only two come with the unit. I found that if you fill a, a hot cup, the vapor will, or the crystals will kind of melt to the cup and work very well. Take you around this side. quite completely. Of course, they don't like it. A little bit of bearding like that. Look at the drone here. Seven feet of uh, October, and there's a drone in here. Tube is breaking off.
tube is broken. So here's our problem. Uh, this tube is broken in here. And it's leaking and it's weak. I could, I could pull it right off of there. Uh, I knew this was a weak part of this tool. This little copper tube gets hot and it takes a lot of stress. The, the weight of the thing hanging on it in the hive. This tube is supposed to be pointed up something like this and, and the tube was pointed down like that and I knew it wasn't going to last. It's just a, a weak point but that's just what happens. So, you know what, it's broken up in here. There's a guy in the neighborhood does uh, air conditioning repair. So I'm headed over there. Fortunately, it's only about three, four miles away. And he said he'll take a look at it, see what he can do. So hopefully we have some success. I've taken the heating band off of it. And you can see the crack right there. So I don't know if he can fix that or not, but we'll see. This is uh, obviously very long. Uh, I have a tubing cutter. I'm going to back this off. I, I want it to be as long as practical. But uh, uh, so I've started with something that I'm sure is too long, and I'm just going to whittle that away until it works just fine. Um, you know. I grew up on a farm and I haven't been a farmer all my life but recently I've turned to farming and farmers depend on their neighbors and this is a prime example I'm kind of getting late on my treatments the weather is not looking like it's going to get any better I don't want it to be any colder when I'm doing this it's a Saturday I live about three three and a half miles out of our little village and there's a guy who lives there. He's a very successful uh, appliance uh, repair person. He does air conditioning work, etc. And so I knew that he would do copper work. I phoned him up. Nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. He put a new tube in here for me. And that's a little bit heavier copper, I think. Which it nice. should put up with that hanging on that tube idea better. Um, I guess, you know, you can hold the thing there if you want, but it, it's, boy, sure, you'd get tiresome doing that a hundred and sometimes, two, three minutes at a time. Uh, so I've re-wrapped my, my bowl wrap here. It's sticking up a bit, which is not good. I'll have to see how that works. I might have to redo that. Uh, uh, so we're going to get back at it. I realize I can just... Uh, Take one screw out, and push these these foam boards down, and either that that will that will reveal the hole that's there, or give me space to drill a new hole in the side. So we're at one one forty right now. I'm just waiting a little longer. Get up to temperature. I have to get my mask um. on. Right on there. That wrap might be in the way. So that feels pretty strong. My only concern is the temperature of the vapor going in. It doesn't cool off too much and uh, starts. Uh, uh, it starts solidifying uh, before it exits, and it looks like it's doing okay. The cap is leaking quite a bit, so I think I need to push that wrap down. here it's clogged in the end there so uh, 
I'm going to cut a bit off of that. Well, I've been working at this four or five hours. I'd take time off to get that uh, little pipe fixed. It's definitely coughing a bit because uh, no matter how much you try, we've got a little bit of a light beard here, so that mask sometimes doesn't fit perfectly. And uh, boy, you get a little whiff of that stuff once in a while, <clears throat> it bothers you. So, you know, anybody who thinks they can vaporize oxalic acid and, uh, you know, I'll stay up window, hold my breath. No, that's a hard no on that you get a mask and you get a proper respirator uh, filter in that mask protect your eyes too and your hands wear gloves I wear my leather gloves it doesn't seem to hurt them too bad you want to wash them afterwards wash the acid to the dust off of them but you can see a lot of bearding going on here there's a big beard right here on a nuke and there's some beards the last ones that I did have beards I have to go over there and put some of those styrofoam panels back on. I ended up just taking one screw out and pulling the panel down sideways so that I could shoot into the side of the hive. So that worked really well. I'm not quite done. Uh, sun's gone down. It's getting really cold. Supper's ready. Uh, wife's got a turkey dinner for me tonight. That's really nice. So uh, I'm going to clean up here. I'll finish the, the last ones tomorrow. Hopefully you know the days are not getting any warmer but i think tomorrow is going to be okay still um, so uh yeah so they'll go into winter nicely with uh, some of those night mites knocked back mite counts were low anyway uh it's just uh, you know good measure to to do a round of oa oav and uh so i hope your bees are well and i hope you're well and uh Stay safe, stay home if you can, especially if you live in Winnipeg, stay home and, uh, you know, have fun.